Welcome everybody. We are live here today. Um, I am Brian Cameron, the marketing manager for Pharmanex in the Americas region, and I'm here with Dr. Mark Bartlett, our vice president of global research and development. I am honored to be sitting here with you. I uh, uh, appreciate you being here today. And me, you. Thanks. Um, Mark is fantastic. He uh, works with a lot of our Pharmanex products, and today we have a very exciting announcement, and that is of our NSF for Sport, for Sport certification. Uh, we'll be answering some of your questions today, and, and that's why we have Mark here with us to tell us a little bit more about that. And so I, I guess I'll start off with the first question of, um, of what is um, NSF and NSF for Sport, and, and kind of what is NSF overall? Right. Yes, NSF is, it stands for the National Sanitary Foundation. So they were formed uh, in the 1940s to test water. So what on earth are they doing testing our supplements, right? So they've expanded their scope a lot since the 40s and are now looking at dietary supplements, food for, uh, for safety and, and efficacy. So just all sorts of things, even medical devices they certify now. Right? So they're a third party certification body, uh, very thorough. And uh, you know, you know, this is for industries like ours where Sure, the government is regulating our industry. It's, kind of, it's a common misconception that they aren't, right? But we have DSHE, Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, formed in yeah. 1994, and that really does provide a you know, regulatory framework for uh, label claims and product safety. But the scope of the government is somewhat limited, right? So it's best for us to police ourselves, and that's why we have our 6S process, which is very good and very yeah. thorough. But sometimes it's even better to have a third party. So the NSF does this, uh, and they are able to certify all sorts of levels. We're going to talk about two levels today, right? Yeah, we're going to be talking about two levels. And, and I, I do love what you just said. It is easy for um, you know, companies to say they are something, but it's a whole different ballgame when you have that third party certification that really gives you that clout to be able to say your products are what they are. Right. Um, yeah, most companies in our industry are doing the right thing, but there are some rat bags there, right? So it's, it's best to provide people that extra level of comfort. You gotta trust the company, but then a third party certification is even better. Yeah, um, so I mean, do you, do you know any of the reputable resources uh, or organizations that, um, uh, that, that recognize this NSF? for sports certification? Um, I understand that there are some, right? The uh, NFL? Yeah, yeah, NFL, um, NFL Players Association. PGA? Um, the, the MLB, PGA, uh, the MLB Players Association, and then the uh, Canada Center for Sports as well. It, it, it's, a, it's a big deal for us to have this sort of certification. And as you know, word has leaked out about us making this effort to go forth, we've had some questions come in from the field uh, that we wanted to go over today. Um, and so, you know, I just want to turn it over to you to kind of explain um, with, you know, these three products that we've got, gone forth and done this certification with, um, you know, what's the difference between the two different certifications? Okay, yeah, because probably you already know, right, that our youth and our vitality and our R squared already have NS certification. And uh, so that is, if you, you kind of have to look very closely at the label, so we've blown it up right here. This is the content tested and certified uh, validation there, right? So that's the certification that the NSF does that's very thorough. And that actually tells us uh, that, that, that we comply with our label claims. They test every ingredient in the product. They also test to make sure that we don't have unacceptable levels of adulterants or contaminants. And they also test us to make sure that we comply with good manufacturing practices, which are all FDA um, sort of compliance issues now. So this is a great certification, and uh, we go to a great deal of trouble to certify such things. This is no small deal, right? The, the entire manufacturing plant has to have you know, um, everything in compliance along with each ingredient. So we work long and hard to get that certification. But the next one, right, the second yeah. level is certified for sport. And so it has everything that the content tested and certified certification has, but it adds more, and that is it tests for all banned substances for sport. So, how many how many things do you think they test for? It's a good, that's a great question. I'm sure a lot of people on, uh, on Facebook are going to be asking that question. Yeah, it's about 245 different substances that are on that banned for sport list that's uh, by, published by WADA, right? So, it's a, it's a much bigger undertaking, and it's also done on a batch by batch basis. So. Every batch that's certified for sport has to be certified for sport. 
right? So you can't just you know test every second batch or something. Test yeah. every single Absol one. Absolutely, and that's what helps you know keep us safe in that certification. I'll hold this up just a little bit so you can see the very subtle difference between NSF and NSF for sport. You're going to need to take our eye formula to see that well, writing a little on bit the closer right there. <laughs> so you can see, you know, there's a very subtle difference there. And then with NSF for sport, you'll see that this logo comes on R squared. It comes on the very front. That's going to be very close as well. Brandon will zoom in for us right there just a little bit so you can see. And then on the back of Age Lock Youth, again, these are subtle differences, but the impact that this can have on your sales and who you market this to can be absolutely huge. And then on the back of Vitality as well. So with these two different versions, we're getting some really, really great benefits um, and some really great you know, ways that we can market this. Um, and, and in fact, the NSF for sports certified products will be a little bit more expensive. Um, and Mark, can you tell us a little bit about you know why these would be more expensive? I'll go over I'll go over pricing after he answers. But you know initially, why would these cost a little bit more? Well, um, regardless of what we end up charging in expense for the product, just from my experience with working with the NSF and all of the things that we have to do, um, I can understand the increased expense. Um, you know, as I mentioned before, it's not only the manufacturing plant that has to be audited, so no banned substances can be used ever in the manufacturing plant before the NSF will come in and so they sort of validate and, uh, and certify the plant. Then we look at the product and we make sure that each ingredient in the product, you know, that there are none of those banned substances. And, uh, and everything is unique about a supplement, right? So they can't just sort of pour the supplement into some magic machine and then uh, sort of get, it spits out the results. It actually takes quite a lot of methods validation. So our chemists are working with, N with NSF chemists. They're working out how to extract it from the matrix of the product. Um, it really is a great deal of product and it is, there's just no way around it. It's a very expensive process to do this level of testing. So that would uh, really explain and justify why there's an added slight increase in the cost of the NSF for sports certified product. That is incredible. Um, and I mean, speaking of that, that's, um, you know, there's, again, that's a pretty amazing fact uh, that they can never have those banned substances in there. And that should, you know, be a really good um, confidence inspiring thing for our consumers. Uh, to go over the pricing just a little bit, I want to uh, go over first Vitality for Sport. Um, the retail price, just so, so I don't get these wrong, retail price is going to be $75.50, uh, or sorry, sorry, $61, sorry, $75.50. Wholesale, 61, and then the ADR price of 58. When you look at AgeLock R squared for sport, um, we'll be, be doing retail 149, wholesale 120, and ADR 114. And then AgeLock Youth, uh, which happens to be my favorite product, our retail is 185, um, wholesale 145, and then ADR price 138. Uh, so uh, again, I mean, it's only a, a small, small difference of of what you're paying there, but again, that impact of who you can market to and, and the comfort, uh, peace of mind that brings to your consumers is uh, above and beyond that, a little bit of extra. Uh, one thing you'll notice with our products is that there will be a slight variance in the, uh, you know, the coloring of Vitality of R squared day. And I'm gonna let Mark answer uh, why that, why we'll have that color variance. Yeah, maybe not even slight, because you can see from this right here that it is now brown. So what's really common is that, uh, you know, to provide a real sort of uniform uh, sort of appearance of the capsule, titanium dioxide is often used. So it's a harmless colorant that's used in the industry, it's very safe. Um, but to differentiate it somewhat here, um, these batches of the Certified for Sport will be minus that colorant. So you can certainly see the difference immediately in these capsules. Yeah, so, I mean, can you, can you speak as to why, uh, why the titanium dioxide has, has been taken out a little bit? Um, again, for differentiation purposes, it's, this is not anything to do with uh, whether or not we can get certification with it in. It really makes no difference. But there are also some people, a small minority of, some, of people, that would rather have it colorant free. So we're sort of providing two, two bangs for the buck. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, another question is uh, that we've been asked because this is on a batch by batch basis. Uh, you know, ideally in, or in an ideal world, we could certify Age Lock Youth R squared Vitality and have that last forever. Uh, but again, to as as Mark was saying, to uh, you know, 
of, or to give that peace of mind, we're doing batch by batch as required by NSF. Um, a lot of people have wondered how long is this going to be around? Uh, and, and that really is just by demand right now. I mean, we've had a lot of demand from the field for this, but we can't really you know, tell you right now how fast that product's gonna go. So I would recommend you know get it while it's there. It's a bit um, of a test for the demand, isn't it? It, it, it is a little bit of, of a test for fast, the demand. And that's a good indication to us that this is a, something that people really want, and we can uh, probably go from there, right? Yeah, and, and I can tell you there is a pretty distinguished list of, of people who have personally reached out to me to ask for this NSF for Sports certified uh, product because of the events that they will be participating in within the next few years. So that's very very exciting for us. Um, another question is, are, are there plans to bring the NSF for sports certification to our other products? And right now there are no plans for that. Uh, we do have, as Mark said, we do have NSF for sports certification, uh, or sorry, sorry, NSF certification for some of our products. Um, and, and if you have any questions about those or this NSF for sport, uh, we have a fantastic uh, New Skin USA um, products group that you can direct those questions towards myself. Uh, and for Anne Janelle Davis, you can direct your new skin questions there. Now, here's the real kicker of a question, because this being NSF for sport, um, can we recommend this for athletes? Ah, you'd think that was an obvious question, wouldn't you? But uh, it's a little more complex than that, right? So you've noticed that even, uh, even on the list of, uh, of organizations, sports organizations that recognize this certification, there are some that are conspicuously missing, right? Nobody wants to take risks these days. Um, what we're providing here is a, a, you know, a really nice improved level of reassurance for athletes as they take this product that it has been tested and that it does not contain banned substances. But we don't know everything that your customers are taking into their bodies, right? We don't know what other supplements or drugs or whatever it might be that they're doing. So it's really hard for us to guarantee. What we do is we provide an assurance that this product is safe, uh, but we can't really guarantee. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's a that's a great point. I played college basketball, and um, you know whether or not I was to have these products at the time when I was playing, I do know that I was I had a lot of protein. We had other lifting supplements and and things. We were drug tested quite frequently, but there is always that fear that you know some of these things were potentially manufactured in um, factories that had handled banned substances. So um, yeah, when, when I said guarantee, we can't guarantee. But what I mean by that is yeah, we can guarantee because of the certification that our product is banned substance free. But we can't guarantee that all of your customers who take this product will test negative for banned substances, right? Yeah. So it's, it's really hard to recommend. It does certainly provide that level of uh, confidence. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Well, um, th I mean, that, that's really great information, Mark. I really appreciate you being here today. Um, for those of you who want uh, some, some content, some memes, and other things, please comment below with what you would like and, and some ideas that you have that would help you in the field. Uh, and then we'll see if we can get Kathy's team uh, and Brandon and, and uh, Leon and, and their team on making some of that stuff for a digital content Wednesday. We'll see if we can do that for you guys. Um, but Mark, really, really appreciate you being here. My pleasure. Thanks. And, uh, and again, if you guys have any questions, you can head up to product group and we'll answer those for you. Thank you guys.